What's up, ladies and gentlemen? The Boss 302. Um, I bought it from Carvana. Carvana gets a bad rep, believe it or not, but they're actually not that bad. Now, here's the red key. It's not programmed. One owner. 49,560 on the clock. I just want to show you this one owner, this person kept this car nice. Carvana. I paid 35,5 for it. So he kept all the owner stuff, the window sticker, the all the service records, the Boss 302, you know, the commemorative pack. But there is one thing I need to tell you. Hold on. Boss 302. Seats are in really good condition. Let me walk around. Let me pop the hood. Let me get a quick look at that motor. There it is, the Roadrunner. Now, here's the thing. I am not keeping this car. Uh, that's one good thing about Carvana. I got it on Friday and I called on Sunday and I said, you gotta come pick this up. I'm not interested in keeping it. Not because uh, there's any issues with the car, not because Carvana is a bad, uh place or anything i actually bought my corvette from them and had no issues it's just it feels very cheap it feels very cheap in here this transmission this mt82 is horrible now coming from a grand sport um even that solid rear axle i don't like that i can hold on for just a little bit. i can clearly see let me see if I can clean the camera. I can clearly see why people lose control of these Mustangs. When you get in, in it, it doesn't feel planted to me. It doesn't. It feels like it's going to skip out on you a little bit. When I mean, even with the work done I had to my Grand Sport, I had a 2013 Grand Sport. Um, when I punched it, it felt planted. It felt like it was going where you want it to go. This feels like any time it could get squirrely. And in the tri-state area, our roads are not the best. And you feel it bouncing around. Like, you feel it skip out every now and then. I don't like that. This MT82 transmission. Um, I didn't think it would be that bad. This is horrible. I get second and third gear, fourth gear lockout. And I'm not even the 7,500 RPM. I'm at, like, 65. And I'm getting, like, lockout. I don't like that. Um... When I drove the Shelby GT350, that Tremec transmission was night and day. Even in the new Mach 1, night and day. Um, you f it feels sturdy. This feels clunky. Like, even when you're going into, like, reverse, when you press down and go over and you're going through the gears, it feels clunky. Um, I should want to drive this car. I had it on Friday, and it was beautiful. It was, like, 75 and 80 Saturday and Sunday, and I think I drove it maybe for 45 minutes on Saturday, maybe 40 minutes on Sunday. And I put it back in the garage and was like, I'm not impressed. Here's why. You get used to the creature comforts. I don't care how much people say, oh, I don't need that. I, I'll get it put in the car. No, I'm not trying to tear into this car and be replacing uh, uh, clutches and transmissions and I'm not trying to change short shifters and brackets and all that. I'm not trying to cut into this um this very cheaply made. I'm not trying to cut into this and do a bunch of backup screens and all that. No. What I like the backup camera. It comes in handy. Like it really does. I live in a neighborhood with a lot of kids and it, it you know, it 
it's in my mind where I want that backup camera. You don't realize how important backup cameras are until you're going through everyday life. You're, I'm constantly out the window to make sure I don't damage this thing. Now, the one good thing about Carvana, you get to take the car for a nice, like you get to drive it without anybody in it to see if you could live with it. Now, I love the seats. Seats are nice, man. Comfortable. Steering wheels a little, I mean, it, it, it looks big to me. It, it, you know, I'm used to like flat bottoms and I mean, th th I mean, this is kind of like, I don't know, like I felt like my hands were sweating when they were here. It's like very cheap. And to me, like looking at it and another Mustang that was actually next to it, it didn't look any different other than a few, you know, other than that C-stripe. And that front splitter, it looked like a regular 5.0 to me. It doesn't I mean it, driving a Grand Sport. In my opinion, the stock Grand Sport drove better than this. This feels kind of slow to me. It kind of feels very outdated. So Carvana gets a bad rep, but they're actually not bad. If you get to really drive a car instead of having someone next to you, he's telling you, hang a left here, hang a right there. No, you want to open it up and really see if you can live with it. If I bought this from a regular dealership, I, I would be stuck with it and I would be miserable with it. But they're coming back Tuesday. I, I don't get paid by Carvana. I'm a small channel. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. But yeah, um, not for me. It's I think I'm just going to wait, save up some extra cash. Take another year or two, shop around. Maybe I'll get Eleanor. My Eleanor is a Porsche 911 Turbo, like a 2012, 2013. White, black wheels. If I was going to get something else, I would get a Z06, uh, a, C, a C7 Z06, like a 2019. Or I would get a Shelby GT350. But I need that independent rear suspension. This... I can't do it. Uh, so they'll be back to pick it up on Tuesday. No regrets. This would have been a regret.